Thank you very much. Good morning, Coach Satterfield. How are you? Doing good. How are you doing? Doing well. Thank you for asking. Uh, Coach, before we get started with questions, um, can you just start us off with your thoughts on last week's game against Idaho and the upcoming game against Coastal Carolina? Sure. It's, it was a, a wild game, to say the least. I think it really the tell of two halves. Um, I think, you know, first half, um, Idaho played exceptionally well, and we didn't play as well, and then it, it kind of flipped in the second half and kind of went the, the other way. And um, you know, hats off to Idaho and their coaching staff and their players. I thought they played extremely hard and had a really good scheme and um, did a great job and, um, you know, just came up a couple of plays short. And, and our, I'm proud of our guys for, for finishing off the game there in the fourth quarter, uh, and particularly in the second half. And we've done that two weeks in a row now, and um, we've got to find some way to get started a lot sooner. But uh, I'll give credit to the to the, to the opponents and uh, that we've been playing. And, uh, you know, but we're proud that we're 3-0 and and – to uh, for this week's contest with Coach of Carolina. Thanks, Coach. We'll go to questions now from Alan Blondin with the Sun News. Hey, Coach. Um, if you could uh, kind of go back to your first year where you transitioned to the Sun Belt and FBS, and uh, if you can maybe explain why, why you think you guys were so successful. Obviously, Coach was trying to make the same move. Um, did you just have a really good team that year? How were you guys able to make that transition so well? Well, our first year in the, in the conference, uh, the, the, actually it was our second year of transition, but first year in the conference play, we started out one and five and uh, of that season and not not didn't go very well. And um, you know, and, and quite frankly, the year before that, we were four and eight. So really, uh, we didn't start out too too good, and but we just kept with the plan and we just we just kept uh, believing in what we were doing. You know, obviously you got to recruit. Uh, the type of players that fit the system that you're in. And, you know, we had a lot of young players back then, and we just kept going with it. And then, and then we got some confidence uh, on, a, on about midway through the season. We won a game at Troy and and, and really uh, just kind of built off that and just continued to play hard and, and won some games, won some close games. And then um, the following year was able to, to win 11 games. So, I mean, it's just uh, sticking with the process and, and believing in it as a, as a whole program I think was the key. Okay, and, and a quick follow: Did you did you happen to have a really good team that year? Also, I mean, you know, you get cycles in uh, in your teams. Did you yeah. have a really good team that year, or was it kind of average for you? Well, that that year, uh, that first year, we started out one and five. We won our last six, so we finished seven and five. So our first year in in our conference, basically, you know, we were bowl, bowl eligible, but we we didn't qualify for the bowl. So, but we had a pretty solid team. We were still young that year. And then the following year was our better team. You know, we, we went 11-2 and, and, and won, uh, won our bowl game. And then, of course, last year we won the conference. And, you know, this class we're playing with 12 seniors now. Uh, and they, they were the ones that that were playing as freshmen and sophomore back then. And they were good players. So so we had a really good, solid team that was young. And we just continued to build a build. And, that, and that's kind of where we are now with, with 12 seniors that start for us. Uh, they were the, they were the, the catalyst for the, for the transition. Okay, I just have one other quick question. Sorry, Alan, we're going to go to questions from Steve Bear with the Watauga Democrat. Hey, Coach, good morning. Hey, Steve. Uh, um, Upshaw looked like he hurt his shoulder, I think, late in the fourth quarter. Is is he all right? And uh, it seemed like Moore looked like he was a little dinged, too. Um, you got maybe an update on that? Yeah, they're uh, really both of them. They, you know, playing running back, I think you're going to get dinged in, in, in a lot of games. I mean, I'll go back to Marcus Cox. He was the same way last year, and he, all these years playing here. So, um, but but they should be good to go this week. I mean, that, you know, we'll see. We're off today, um, but uh, you know, Jalen Jalen for sure is fine. He he was fine in practice yesterday, but we'll, it'll be day to day with Upshaw. But I uh, but I perceive him being able to play. But we'll know more by the end of the week. Okay. And also, um, you went went for it on fourth down a few times. I think three times. Are are, are you Riverboat Scott now, or what's the? <laughs> well, last year we shoot. If you go back, we we went for it maybe more than anybody in the conference except, except for one team. But it just hasn't come up this year as much. And I thought, you know, Saturday we, we were three for three in the in the second half, and we just we needed a spark. We needed some momentum at the time, and so we went for it twice on fourth down in one drive, and then once on the other drive. And both of those drives resulted in touchdowns. So, you know, sometimes if you've got to get something going, um, they give you four downs, you can use all four of them. And uh, we just felt that we needed to do that at, the, at that particular time in the game. 
Thank you, Steve. We'll go to questions now from Derek Asbury with the Post and Courier. Hey, Coach. Uh, obviously, you guys are 3-0 and in the Sun Belt so far. Uh, can you talk about the, the uh, importance on uh, trying to uh, extend, uh, extend that uh, Sun Belt ranking and uh, what you expect to see from Coastal this weekend? Well, the only thing we care about this week is, is going 1-0, and and that's, you know, beating Coastal. So, you know, we don't really have to focus on what we've done in the past. I mean, we're we're happy where we are in the league right now being, you know, 3-0, and but, but we're all focusing on Coastal, and, you know, Coastal is coming in here and, um, you know, in that transition year. But they have – they have certainly have playmakers on their team, offense and defense. It seems like they've been in most every game. Uh, this year, and um, you know, with what they do scheme wise on offense, they always present problems for defenses. The way they can run the football and control the clock uh, defensively, they're aggressive and, and can make some plays on defense as well. So, you know, we're, we're putting together our plan now, and hopefully, we'll have a great plan. We have to we have to get off on a, a quick start. You know, we've not started well um, in any of our conference games this year. We've played great second half, but not first half. We need that's the kind of concentration this week is to get off to a great start in the first half. Okay, thank you, Derek. Uh, we'll go to one final question from Alan Blondin again from the Sun News. Yeah, all right, Coach. Um, uh, I guess just how encouraging was it to see Taylor Lamb have a good second half after kind of an unproductive game against uh, New Mexico State and then a tough first half? Yeah, I mean, it, it was very encouraging in the second half. I was going all on Taylor. I think it's a little bit uh, on the O-line, of course, the receivers and all that kind of stuff. But but he did come back strong in, in that second half. Um and, and really three touchdowns propelled us uh, to get that victory. So he's got to play well. I think in any offense, your quarterback has to play well. And Taylor's been a great player for us for, for four years. And so, you know, we got the last half of our season coming up, and I would expect him to have a great second half of his of his uh, senior year. And, uh, and he's going to need to in order for us to compete for this championship. All right, Alan, thank you. And, uh, Coach, thank you. Those are all the questions we have for you this morning. Okay. We appreciate it.